sound doctrine so we can do it for edification and not for brothers and sisters destruction because now what we see going on on youtube is that brothers and sisters are popping up all over the place talking about i'm always oh, almost suicidal because what they done to me mm. how they dealt with me you understand and guess what brothers and sisters I was guilty of the same thing. And I'm apologizing to any of you brothers and sisters out there. I can't say it enough, you know, but we learn. We get in this truth, we learn to change. You know, this, this truth is a constant growth. We got to grow beyond our measure and the stature of the measure that the Most High want us to be. And that's adding up to the measure and the stature of Yahweh Shai, whom the world calls Jesus. All right? So let's continue on. There's more on that. Uh, what verse you at? Verse 11. Come on. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. So the Lord wants us to live in peace. But when you cause division and confusion, you got brothers and sisters from other camps that are tripping over this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that are yeah. fearful in mind and spirit. Yeah. Come on. Uh, verse 12. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints salute you. The grace of the Lord, Yahweh Shah, and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Let's all go right. to 2 Timothy 3 and 1. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1. This is the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Come on. This, this note also, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Lovers of what? Of their own selves. Lovers of their own selves. Lovers of their own self. Self. Read on. Covetous. Boasters. Proud. Wait a minute. Covetous. Boasters. Boasting. What we got. Who we are. Look at our numbers. Look at this. Look at that. You got two numbers. We got 10,000. You guys are bums. We got businesses. It goes on. The scripture is telling you what you're doing. This is why when you read the scripture, you're supposed to examine yourself. Boasters. Proud. Black. Proud. Wait a minute. You, you missing all the juice. <laughs> Boasters. What else? Proud. Pride. Pride, pride, pride. Pride will destroy you in its truth. Continue on. Blasphemers. Pride is no one can tell you when you're wrong. You can never accept when you're wrong. You can never apologize. You can never say you were wrong. You have a proud spirit. Read on. Mm. Uh, blasphemers. Blasphemers mean what? Dirty. Filthy lie. Hmm. Examine that. Just think about this doctrine newly came up now. Think about it. Come on. Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. No acknowledgement of men that brought you into this truth first. Men that paved the way, even though they might have been shortcoming in some of the understanding. Hmm. But they was faithful in the little that they had at that time. Read. Unthankful. Unholy. Unthankful. Men that help pioneer the truth with you, you dishonor, you disrespect. Read on. Unholy. Without natural affection. Natural affection. If a brother in the faith and he's calling me and he want to reach out, a token, a, a token of friendship to reach out to your brother and you totally ignore it. Read that again. Natural what? Natural affection. The natural affection we're supposed to have is that, oh, damn, my brother's calling. Let me let me see what he wants. Mm -hmm. Maybe something went down. Even though we're on bad terms, maybe you want to apologize. Maybe you want to talk about something important. Pick up the phone and listen and hear the brother out. None of that is going on. Why? Because camps are going around thinking that if you're not with their camp, you're not in the truth. Mm -hmm. If you're not doing what they expect you to do, then you're the devil. I don't expect everyone to do. Listen, I told brothers about the diversity that the Lord loves. Mm. But what we should be on agreement as Israelites is that we should all have the spirit 
of peace with one another. Yeah. The bond where we can call one another up or the elders and talk with one another. Continue on. Mm. Truth breakers, false accusers. And that's heavy going amongst Israel. This is why a lot of things is coming to the forefront now. The Lord doesn't like the lies and the foolishness and all the things that are occurring in the nation of Israel. It's going to be weeded out. Believe that. We cannot take a step forward. We cannot reach uh, the, what the, where the Lord wants us to reach and, 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 and uh, where he wants to bring us through this Bible. Continue on. Mm. Through biblical prophecies. Come on. Incontinence. Fierce. Despisers of those that are good. Fierce. When the brother told me, when I heard the interview of the brother, I got to think of this. Tobias. Mm. That's his name, Tobias. So when I heard the interview with him and vocab alone, you read what that word say there, fierce? Fierce. Look up the word fierce. Okay. Because he said something, and I was like, damn, that's fierce. Because he had made a statement. He had stated that, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, correct me. You know, I apologize ahead of time because I can't remember everything like some of these brothers, word for word, uh, like my brother, a divine prospect. <laughs> I mean, a brother has a photographic memory or something. But anyway, you got other brothers that have that gift. But anyway, he said something to the fact that he had bought a car from one of the IUIC members, yeah. right? And he said that he bought the car from him. And then when he said that he was going on, he don't want to be a part of IUIC anymore. The brother said, um, I want, well, I want my back. car back. I want the car back. Man, <laughs> some fierce ass shit. She was a French, but man, that is so out of line and wicked, man. He said, I want my car back. But if, the, if that's not wicked towards your an evil eye towards your brother, now that's fierceness. That's <laughs> evil. That's wicked. That's fierce. Read what the word fierce means. The definition of the word fierce. Violently hostile or aggressive in temperament. That's aggressive and, and very violence in temperance. Because if you that's very aggressive. For you to say something like that, that means when you gave it to him, you didn't give it to him with the spirit of brotherly love. No. You know, you was you're a nigga. That's really what you are. 